Hello and welcome to this video series on Composer. Now in this video we're going to be talking about templates and the ease of using templates is well it probably goes without saying but I'm going to say it anyway. It's easy because basically with templates whether they're CSS templates or just typical HTML web page templates there's really a lot of this other stuff up here that you don't have to know anything about but I wanted you to know about them anyway that's why I did those videos first before I did the templates video otherwise you would have probably just skipped over these but anyway I wanted you to experience the joy if you will for lack of a better word of knowing how and learning how to create a certain type of layout for your web page or the knowledge of being able to insert data tables or create and insert various types of content whereas with templates a lot of times these templates already have all you know accomplished all that for you all you have to do is put in your text put in your video put in your images or just simply replace the text videos or images that are already on these templates easy as pie so let's go ahead and check this out and uh, go ahead and open up our Composer software and let's play around with some templates. Now before we get into our software, our Composer software, I want to first go ahead and open up our, or at least it's my favorite search engine, that being Google, and let's uh, put in free web page templates and see what pops up. Okay, well I kind of, spoiler alert, because I got about 10, a little over 10 million uh, results pop up. Now you can always, you know, you know, go a little bit off tempo here and go with free templates or web page templates or you know free web templates, and you'll probably get similar results. But one thing I need to point out though is that there, whenever you're talking about free website templates or free web page templates, you could be getting into Flash website templates or HTML website templates or CSS website templates so it's a good idea to have an idea as to what you want before you start diving into downloading uh, free templates otherwise before you know it you've got a hard drive full of free templates because they all look pretty cool to you so what you want to do first off is to have an idea as to how you want your website to look the basic structure Do you want a nav bar at the top at the bottom on the side uh, how many columns do you want do you want an image for a header do you want any header at all Do you want it to be mostly content so with that visual uh, in your mind then you can go ahead and start looking for web templates and don't look so much at the flash and so on I'm talking about the way it looks don't look so much at the gaudiness or the coolness or the blinky stuff on the uh, or the shiny items on the web templates look to see if their basic structure meets your vision because that's what you want you can get rid of all of their you know bling bling and and make their web template look exactly the way you want uh, which may not be as theirs looks like at all uh, so let's go ahead and without further ado open this guy up here let's see what we got here because I want to go with a uh, web I want to go with uh, HTML templates so for example business we can go with business I mean if that's kind of your thing uh, this XHTML that's basically CSS and we touched on that so if you feel confident enough in making some changes there then dive right in because this is going to end up being a very clean website for you but you want to maintain the CSS you don't want to just you know delete all the CSS out and in place of it put HTML why because you've got plenty of HTML free website templates so let's go ahead and see what we can find here not finding a design you like it. Da, 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 da. Okay, I want a two column small header nav bar at the top. So, what do we got? Pretty pictures, pretty pictures. And just a quick rundown in case you're not familiar with it uh, the first fold, the prime real estate, is for example what shows up on your browser first and foremost and remember this is a little bit smaller than my normal browser settings because of the constraints of the video is placing on it so the top part of the web page what first opens up that's the prime real estate that's the top fold and typically people will read from the top left and go to the right typically you know depending upon what country you're from but typically top left to the right and then down so this top left corner of the top fold is the prime real estate. So for example, if you're wanting to build a list, an email list, and uh, somewhere on your page you want to decide where am I going to put my opt-in box. Best place, top left. Just to kind of let you know, that's just what I found. With that being said, you might want to look for one that already has an opt-in box form on the top left corner. And if we want a two column, 
for example. Uh, what else we got here? Popular HTML templates. Oh yeah, and you can see by the number of downloads just how many, you know, this is out there. It's out there quite a bit. Um, this one doesn't look too awfully bad. Let's go with this guy just for the sake of this video. I know, it doesn't have an opt-in form up there, but, you know, you can put one in. Now what do we have here? Okay, not sure exactly what all this stuff is. Designer homepage. Oh, okay. Duh. Sorry. Um, what we might want to do is download it instead. So let's see what we got when we click on that guy. Okay, let's just click on the actual image. Click here to download. Okay, I figured we'd eventually get to it. But you can get a bit better picture, too, of what's going on here. You can put your title in here. We can get rid of this entire thing, you know, or you know, however you want to do it. And right in here is some navigation links, which is cool. And you can put some more links over here if you want. Or you can just get rid of all of these all together and just have this left column, say, for your opt-in box, uh, maybe some front-end sales. You want to advertise other web pages or websites you have. And then we just toss in our content here. And then we got the footer down here at the bottom. So we'll go with this one, again, just for the sake of conversation and example. So let's click here to download 5660. And we're going to download it to our HTML goodies folder. Again, just to keep things kind of organized. Now, I've already made a folder in here. I guess I could have showed you how I did that, uh, called template, because I want to just keep everything in, in for this particular video somewhat organized and I'm just going to open that up and we will now download the uh, where we at here 5660 wasn't that it yeah 5660 okay and there's not a whole lot to it so it didn't take very long now let's go ahead and close this out or minimize it anyway close that out and open up our HTML goodies folder inside our templates and I'm using uh, Zip Genius, but if you have Windows Explorer or hopefully you're familiar enough at this stage of the game to know how to unzip a compressed file, if not, well, there's plenty of tutorials on the net. And this is free, by the way. If you wanted to look for a Zip Genius, just do a Google search for it, and I'm sure you'll come across it fairly easily. So open up this folder here, and somewhere in here we're going to get these. Okay, so... Uh, here's images here, here's some images here, Java, so there's something to do with some JS stuff in here. Okay, it might be a little video or some kind of something in here, but let's go ahead and open this up in our Composer software. Oh, got our Composer software opened up here, and let's go to Open. And you could have gone to File Open as well, just to let you know. Some more goodies, template dig deep and open that up and bada bing bada boom here we go so this isn't too bad actually got your contact up here I myself am a little bit hesitant on that but you can replace this by simply highlighting it and um, this is a, a just a basic link and if you hold your mouse over you can see where it's going to right now just you know the the basic default you know fake email address you can go up here to link and just put in your email address here and make sure this box is ticked because this tells everybody that hey this the above is an email address uh, so that's how you would change that well for example let's just change this to George oops at gmail.com don't worry George wherever you are whoever you are I'm not sending you an email uh, but the rest of this is fine and dandy the way that it is and okay so it goes there but it didn't change it okay let's go ahead and change the actual I thought it might change the text there as well so to change the text you gotta change it here as such And now that when you, when you hover over it, it will change the color, which is pretty cool. Well, that's probably that JS or the JavaScript stuff. Um, and then hold your mouse over and you'll see where it goes to. Okay, so that's cool. And the rest of the stuff here, 
we can just change the title uh, if you wanted to you could probably go in and insert an image here just by going up here to insert image and you want to make sure that it's you know the same dimensions oh, what do we got here I'm not sure what this is but okay that's the image we had in a prior video and it basically replaces that it just goes over that uh, color and text or design that was in the background then undo that change the title these links here they are uh, active links but they're only placeholders to change these links of course you want to like we did with the email address up here just highlight it for example we'll highlight this one here okay highlight the whole thing and change it to home and then you can just uh, right click on it okay not gonna right click on it but you can uh, click on it and let's just highlight it shall we and then go up here to insert oh goodness link and then here you can type in index.html because we want this to be our home and you see here this is not an email address so don't tick that click on that click OK and now when you hover over this you can see it's going to index.html which by the way is the file or the page that we're on right now but bear with me because we want uh, what one two three four five pages let's say this one will be for um, FAQ frequently asked questions so we want to highlight that and hold our control key down on our keyboard and hit the letter L as in link and replace the hash sign or pound sign or whatever you want to call it uh, number symbol with faq.html now of course we don't have this page in existence just yet but we're going to create it and we're going to create it after we're done doing all of our changes here because rather than making each one of these changes five different times we make all these changes once and then just create these five different pages boom and then each one of those five pages resembles or has already taken on all these changes. Again, without having to do these changes each and every single time. So you get the idea, hopefully. So let's go ahead and, well, you know, you can get rid of this. It's just a good image. You can replace this image with any other image that is of its same size, if you want. And you can see if you ho hover over this, it tells you where it's located at. A little box there, PIC forward slash lorem ipsum that's just lorem zero one so if you wanted to you can right click on this and go to image properties and it should give you the dimensions width 200 uh, height 151 so if you want to maintain these exact same diameters and such where the text is to the right of the image or actually the image is to the left of the text and it wraps then you just simply replace this image with one that has the exact same size and you can name it the exact same thing if you wanted to go that route or you could simply just put another image here just go up here to insert image you just put this image in there and boom you've got an image in there and of course it's not the text is not wrapping now because it takes up the entire width of that particular table once you get the idea how easy it is to insert an image there and if you wanted to you could just hit your delete key or your undo key and you, while you have this highlighted hit your delete key boom you get rid of everything you can get rid of all of this and simply start from scratch if you want to get rid of this table altogether you could either go into the source code here and do so or right here if you hover over this you got the two arrows and then the red or the circle there with the X in it you can just click on that boom and you get rid of all of that so now you're basically starting from scratch now if I put my mouse here and go over holding my mouse my left mouse button down and dragging it to the right you can see how these have turned blue I've got both of these uh, highlighted so if I right click come down here and join selected cells now I've got one cell so I can put my content in here and we've still got the footer at the bottom and this here you might want to leave this in here just because it's you know 
a good free advertisement for the people that you got this from or you can just get rid of it and make sure you change the footer date over here put in your domain name you know just kind of give it a quick look over before you send it live and let's go ahead and browse now see what it looks like on the web browser drag this over here so if we were to change our title here you know as you can see we got this and this that's actually a pretty cool looking site um, you know if you're into this kind of a color scheme but there's just so much you can do with these templates again the key thing you want to keep in mind before you even head up these or, or go to these uh, free template sites is you want to get a basic idea as to how you want your site to look header image header text do you want a uh, navigation bar at the top or on the side or top side and bottom how many columns do you want do you want an opt-in box on the left the right or at all and then that's what you want to look for is a template that basically has the skeleton or the uh, basic construction of what you are wanting to end up with then you just come in and delete what you don't want off of that free template after you have saved as so this way whatever you save it as is fine and dandy but you are not messing up the original template so again no big deal it was free you can go and download it again if you want you still got the zip file if you want but this way you've got the main you've got the original intact so you can go back and utilize it for other projects you've got too so as soon as you open it up in composer you want to go up here and save as give it a name that you want you know index to my site whatever and then you go in here to the source and come on up to the top in between the uh, title tags and then title that and then come on back and then click on save and you're good to go then just make whatever changes you want and from that point on you are working on your website your web page and that's pretty much it I just wanted to introduce you to the uh, ability of being able to use web templates that somebody else has spent their hard-earned time on so you don't have to. In this case, there's a gazillion of them out there. As I had pointed out, there's over 10 million on the one search uh, results page that I showed you on Google. Um, so get out there, find you some web pages, some, some free web templates you can play around with. And if nothing else, that's a good learning tool as well. See how those templates are constructed by going to the source code. And... You know, this could give you some ideas on how you can construct, maybe not so much in this case, that particular template or your particular website because you want to stay focused. But it can definitely teach you a lot about how HTML goes together. So that's pretty much it for this video. And we're going to be wrapping it up on the next video on publishing or making a website go live. Thank you much for watching this video and have a great day.